Alright guys, half fast, 719 back at it. Bouts to do some brakes. Yeah. So, got the brake pads, hardware kit, some grease. Grab a rotor real quick. Oh! Throw that rotor over there. Um, I think that's it. That's all I need. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna clean this caliper up as best as I could. Can, could, can. Um, I don't know if these screws come out or not. But um, anyway, I'm gonna set you guys on the tripod. Feel free to uh, subscribe, comment. Do what you guys do best, which is show me your support for the project crack pipe. And uh, yeah, we'll go from there. So, all right, let me uh, get all this junk cleaned up. It's like I'm working. Um, anyway, what I want, what I'm trying to do is take this off so I can get in here and grease that but it doesn't look like it's happening so let me put you on a little time lapse and uh, see what I can do see what more I can do because I'm pretty wore out I'm getting sick of this project heat project crack pipe all he does is take up my time so, oh. anyway, time lapse real quick. Spraying, cleaning, 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 cleaning. I'll be back.
All right, guys, people. World. See? Got new brake pads and rotors. If you're watching them, watching me put them on, it was kind of a nightmare because this uh, overhaul kit was kind of a pain in the butt. So you have these O rings that are inside. So the shaft, the floating part, travels in and out of this. And uh, they didn't want to cooperate. They kept on uh, like rolling out. It's kind of a pain in the butt. So I replaced these and I replaced the big ones. And uh, went through two cans of brake clean. And uh, yeah, got a mess to clean up. So, anyway, I think uh, what I'm gonna do is uh, run the hose for the for the shock, um, and then we'll go from there. Uh, yeah, so that'll be. Yeah, screw it. Let's do it right now. Let me just do it real quick and then I'll show you. Then we'll put the tire on, tires on, and see if it works. Alright, guys. I'm wore out. So I got the Schrader valve up here just because I'm probably going to have to run a different line. So we got the hose. Fitting, the T fitting, right there. The other line runs up and over. The motor to the other side. So, uh, yeah, let's jack this beast up and uh, see what our deer. Gotta put some air in the tire. That's what their hose is for. Gotta put some air in that tire. Then put the other wheel and tire on. But yeah, everything's good. Gotta say this uh, 3 8 inch ratchet my brother gave me. I'm loving it. It's awesome. Instead of uh, turning the uh, 3 8 inch Allen wrench by hand. I was using that so anyway let me uh, let me get the wheels on jack it up some more get the wheels on and uh, see what I do I'll be back
All right, let's see. I'm zoomed in. Let's see how far it go down. Jack going down, jack down, jack down. There's air in there. It could be. Pretty happy with it. So, what we got is basically I'm hitting that right there, and whew, get out of here. As you can see, right where the peak of the flashlight is, the point I'm hitting right there, which is good because that's that's as far as I wanted to go. You can see, I still got an inch, about a half inch, inch in there. This side, basically the same. I just got to adjust the, uh, the camber. Camber's way off. So, let's see what I'll do with a... Uh, huh. With some air.
might just be too quick. Either that or the things I made were bending. But you can't see. I don't know. Look into some bigger hoses or something, like one angle in. Anyway. Alright guys, that's going to be it for this video. I'm done. I'm burnt out. I'm going to put the welder away. I still haven't eaten yet, so I'm going to eat. Probably drink some Gatorade. Alright guys. Subscribe, comment, watch me succeed, watch me fail, which usually happens more than, more than most. Um, but anyway, uh, maybe I'm doing something wrong, maybe the hose is pinched in there or something. But, I right guess, thanks for watching, subscribe, comment, do what you guys do, later.